Hello friends and uh, fans, uh, uh, what we want to uh, discuss today is how to display a server, how to, for people that are, are new to server, uh, I want to discuss, I want to show you how to display and tell you also basic things you need to know when you want to display a server. So you want to start from, uh, start uh, with this server, this is HP server. This HP server HP 380. Uh, this is the server I want us to uh, talk about. So that is it. So uh, I want us to start from uh, uh, by opening it. <laughs> Let's slide it backwards. You can see it has created space here. When you want to close it, you push it down like this, it will close. When you want to open it, uh, you you open it from this place. Now open, you can now open it. So this is the inside of the server. This is inside of the server. So, this this server, it uh, this is a Gen 8P. As I already show show you uh, at the front here, yeah? this is Gen 8. So what you're going to do? How the first thing you to, you have to get your monitor. This is the monitor I'm going to use. I'm going to use. So this is the monitor I'm going to use. So this this has a two processor. This is a, a, a this is a processor and it has a first processor and second processor. So what you're going to do is I'm trying to check the display with only one processor because it's just only display I want to check whether it can display on the computer here. So what you're going to do is you the the processor that this uh, server normally uses a uh, uh, V2 processor E5 2600 processor E5 2600 processor I'm, I'm going to show you that so I'm doing the display with uh, just I'm just trying to do it with one processor let me remove it this let's try one let me put it so you can see the processor it uses this uh, is a uh, Intel Xeon processor You can see that Intel Xeon processor uh, 26. This one is 2630. Intel Xeon processor 2630. This is the processor he uses. Mm, 2630. You can you can use a uh, any e uh, e5 2600. You can use 2609. 2 anyone you can use. It uses a uh, e uh, processor E uh, 2620, 2630. This one is 2630, 2620, 2609, 2650, 26, many of them 2690. So, but I uh, normally use this V1 and V2 processor. So, that is it. This is the Intel Xeon processor. You can see that Intel Xeon processor. So, that is one. Then uh, I want to also talk about uh, the the RAM. It uses a PC3 RAM. This agent uh, it uses a PC3 RAM. You can, you can see. You can see this one is 8 GB. 
AGB PC3 RAM, PC3L. A normal PC3 can work on this PC3 RAM. This RAM for server. This uh, I want to show also show you something with it. Um, let me check if I can get another RAM that uh, doesn't doesn't have a a cover. Okay, this is another RAM here. I want us to talk about this RAM. This this RAM, you can see, you can see a uh, this. <coughs> Sorry about that. You can see this RAM. You can see this PC3 L uh, PC3 RAM. That's what this uh, this RAM uh, this server uses for people that are new to servers. You can see the kind of RAM you use. You can see, you can see this uh, this uh, very, this tall uh, tall IC here. You're seeing here. This is uh, identical of uh, these uh, the servers. It is not at the back. You can see it. The main work of uh, this IC here is. Uh, is to correct errors this is called is when once you see any ram with this uh one tall uh, tall ic that is taller than others you can see others are short short like this but this one is this one is tall this one is big others are short so you can this one is called ecc ram this is server ram so we are using pc3 on this very uh this is very server and this server is a uh, gen 8 let me show you again gen 8 server gen 8 server you can see that dl380p gen 8 server so that is it so so i want uh, this processor is already here but if you don't know how to how to put the processor look at it you can see yeah this now focus oh. you can remove it from here if you want to remove it this is the first pin you can see what is written here first le lever level lever open first one you have to open then you can see the other one then you open the other one then it will come up like this so that is it this is a processor. This is a processor here. You can see the back side of it. And uh, there's something I want to want to show you again. When you want to put the processor, you can see uh you can see here here has edge. This side has edge. Edge. This one has edge. And when you look at this place, this place has cut. You can see that. This place has cut. This place has cut. You can see it. So what you're going to do is, so long. You can see this. This place has edge. This place has edge, and this place has edge. It has sh sharp point. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It has sharp point. But this one, you see, it it is it has a cut here. They cut this one here. So this is a sign for you to see that this place that has a good uh, angle triangle is going to be pointing towards that direction if you put it in the wrong way it will not work so that is it Some, that's what i'm going to do right now i'm going to put it making sure i align and be careful with the pin so that it doesn't bend so you put the, you push this one down then you close it then you press this this is the first to close you see first to close when you want to close you first close this side when you want to open this one is first open you open this one first then you bring it the other down the one down so then you you put your heatsink back then you close it 
so that is it so we have put our processor and uh, i told you that this gen 8 hp this uses uh it uses um uh, uh ecc ram and also it's called the uh, ecc ram the ram it uses it is ecc ram this ram you can see it i've shown you already ecc ram and this is pc3 so you use pc3 on it let me, let me put it and when you put in mind you when you put in the the ram what you're going to do is just first shoot the white this uh, color indicators is is just showing a uh, different channels this uh, uh black card a different channel this this white one is the first channel so what you're going to do is you put it the white it's now fitted the ram is now fitted you must not put uh, two processors at the same time and when you want to check display make sure you you check there's something you check you see this you look at this place when you want to check with only one processor you see what is written here you see this is a, a u2 processor 2 this is processor 2 so anytime you want to check with only one or you want to use only one processor on server you have to do that on on uh, uh, processor one this processor one i'm using you can look if you look inside you see u1 proc one this which is processor one so that's why i have to put if you put it uh two why the one is empty it will not work so that is it so unless you want to put uh, both side you can but if you want decide to use only one processor you have to it has to be on processor one so so let me fix this one back this side so what you're going to do right now is look at the back of the server the back of the server uh, you have I've connected my this my monitor this is a VGA for the monitor which is this place at the back of the server this, uh, this is my keyboard which is this one this is my keyboard so what you're going to do is uh, you you connect the power you connect the power i've connected the that of uh, the monitor the monitor is on right now let me and you plug it when you plug it you go to the front and check if uh, if this light is blinking if it is uh, uh, orange color you have to press it to on it is on standby uh, mode so you press it but now it's blinking green means that it's coming so that is it so let's see let's see You can see the display has displayed right now. You can see. You can see it. And it's also doing some initialization. You can see. It's doing some initialization. You can see that. Okay. So you can see that so the the system now you can hear the sound from the server i are seeing it right now this is how to display the uh this uh to that's display server like i told you this is the hp server this is your H j 8 server so if you want to do that this is the way you do it like i said before if i remove this processor and put it here and leave the uh, processor one socket empty 
it cannot display okay so, so that is it this is the configuration here you can see the processor inside so okay thank you for for watching please make sure to subscribe for more videos like this if you like it you can like click the uh, smash the like button and also do some comment there thank you